Hello everyone and welcome to the battery test of iOS 10.2 versus iOS 10.1.1. On the left we have, as usual, the lowest version, iOS 10.1.1, and on the right, 10.2. Uh, this test is done on iPhone 6S devices, uh, because basically those are the only ones where I have a set that has matching battery wear. So first off, let's uh, go into the battery app and check the wear of these batteries just to confirm that they are at the same level. As you can see, 1700 milliamp hours charge, so they're good to go. But let's just freeze frame it right here because there's a lot more going on to your battery life than just the iOS version. I see many comments uh, with people uh, blaming the new version of iOS to degrade their battery life, uh, but usually it's not the case. Uh, the only case I know of is uh, of iOS 10 Beta 1, which was horrible for your battery, killed it uh, in a few hours. Uh, but since then, the battery life has been pretty comparable, at least for the devices I have tested, uh, to, to that of the previous release. Um, in this case, uh, we know that the 6S has some kind of battery issue, uh, but I still um, believe that that's due to a faulty battery and not the iOS version itself. So do yourself a favor, go to the App Store, find one of these battery health apps, and check the status of your battery, because it might just be your battery that is dead or getting there. And if that's the case, uh, take your device to the Apple store or where you bought it and see if you can get the battery replaced or maybe you will even get a new device. But in this video, we will run the standard Geekbench battery test and Geekbench 3 on these two devices. As you can see on the right, we have 10.2 and on the left, we have 10.1.1. And in order to make sure that it's a fair Comparison, let's go to the display settings and make sure the auto brightness is set to off and that the slider for brightness is equally adjusted. So, like now, let's just make sure that all the apps are closed. Don't want any apps running. And then launch Geekbench and run the battery test. Let's just uh, disable dim screen so it doesn't run for days. And we are ready to unplug the devices. And we're off. So this will run for maybe, I don't know, four or five hours. And I will speed it up, of course, so we don't have to sit through all the five hours. Let's just remove the cables so there will be no doubt whether or not these are charging or not and let's speed it up
So back to normal speed and there goes iOS 10.1.1 and I guess it looks like iOS 10.2 will run out of power uh, very shortly. So let's just wait and see. I'll let the video run in uh, normal speed for the last few minutes. So let's see. And 10.2 is about to turn off. There it goes. So it looks like it's about two minutes uh, better than 10.1.1. But let's uh, put some power in these devices and boot them up and uh, check the scores. So here we have the final scores. As you can see, 10.2, 5 hours, 24 minutes. 10.1.1, 5 hours and 22 minutes. The Geekbench scores are 32.40 for the 10.2 and 3220 for 10.1.1. Not a big difference, and if you ask me, I would say that the performance of the battery in 10.2 uh, versus 10.1.1 is exactly the same. Uh, this difference is so small that I don't think it's uh, it's something that could be measured. I might have the brightness setting on 10.1.1 just 0 0.0001 higher setting than on 10.2, but who knows. So that concludes the battery test. Uh, to wrap up, scores are identical, or at least as close to identical as possible. So. Um, Battery-wise, you can safely update to 10.2. It will not leave you in a worse position than you already were with 10.1.1. And again, uh, check your battery health if you have issues. That might be the reason and not the iOS version. So thank you ever so much for watching this video. It will be much appreciated if you remember to subscribe to the channel. Uh, it helps, keeps the motivation going. And uh, thank you guys again for watching. Take care.